Jesus makes a remarkable statement regarding hope for thirsty people in John chapter 7, verse 37. He says, if anybody is thirsty, if anybody is thirsty, let that thirsty person come to me. And as a result of his coming to me, her coming to me, this will happen. I will cause rivers of living water to begin to flow up and out and through you, rivers of living water in the place of the thirst in your heart. Are you thirsty for something today? Are you thirsty for a sense of peace in your heart? Are you thirsty for a sense of guilt, shame being removed? Are, are, you, are you thirsty for, for there to be some kind of a sense that God is going to make a way for me in a difficult medical situation or financial situation, thirsty. If any man is thirsty, if any person is thirsty, let that thirsty person come to me. We, we have many options to take our thirst to in these lives in which we live. But Jesus is looking out across a crowd of very religious people. That they're, they're in town, they're in Jerusalem for this massive feast. But he looks out across the religious people and he says, you're thirsty. Your religion hadn't satisfied the thirst in your soul. You come to me and drink. You're, you're wanting to know God. You're, you're wanting to live a life that would please Him. You, you come to me and I will show you how. I, I will cause there to be a release of my spirit within you so that there is strength and there is an ability. There is life flowing into and up through and out through your life to be able to refresh and help others. If you're thirsty today, if there is a longing within your heart for a revival, for, for a freshness to return to your heart, we spend some time taking apart these words of Jesus and digging into them a good bit deeper in the longer message. And you can click the button at the bottom of your screen to join us for that. And this is, it, it's a word of hope to thirsty people. Jesus isn't talking to people who have it all together and they're, they're, they've got everything figured out and all is smooth. He specifically is saying, if your soul is thirsty, this word is for you. You come to me if you're thirsty and I will do something within you, not only to satisfy the thirst within your soul, but through you to be able to satisfy the thirst of others who are in great need just as you have been. Click the button at the bottom if you want to go further. I believe it will help you. If you're thirsty, and if you're not thirsty, this isn't going to, it just won't mean anything to you. But if somehow you would have to say, there is a part of my life, there's a part of my soul that is thirsting for more than what I have right now, this message could be for you, and I believe it can be a great help. God bless you.